My name is Alan McGraw. I'm mayor of the city of Round Rock, the second fastest growing city in the nation, uh, second only to New Orleans. So we feel pretty fortunate with what's going on here in, in, the, in the growth that we've experienced and the success that we're still having. There are really a lot of uh, factors that make Round Rock so special. Uh, one of them is just the, the people. It, the, the people here uh, really have a can-do attitude. And if you look back through the history of Round Rock, it was really founded by people uh, with a can-do attitude, and that, that has stuck with us uh, to this day. Uh, one, I think one of the, the great things about Round Rock is really it's a blend of, of a, a great history with, uh, with modern. Sometimes we, we, we like to say from cattle to computers uh, because of the, the, the history of Round Rock with the Chisholm Trail going through. It was a, it was a, a, a great uh, crossing. In fact, that's how Round Rock got its name was at the Round Rock. That was a, a place where the Chisholm Trail Across and it was a sign to the, to the drivers whether or not the, the water was too high to cross. And so there's this great history from cattle and then, of course, being the world headquarters of Dell, uh, cows to computers. And a famous gun battle actually took place here in Round Rock. There was a notorious outlaw named Sam Bath who was uh, robbing banks, robbing trains. He was actually quite a young uh, character. And um, he was, he was most wanted by the Texas Rangers, and one of his, his henchmen, if you will, had been captured and finally made a deal with the Texas Rangers that if he would help, help capture him, that he would get his freedom. And so he sent word to Austin that uh, Sam Bass and his gang were on his way to Round Rock to, rap, to rob the bank here. And uh, so the Texas Rangers came up. They, they had a, a force come down, and they, they, they found out that Sam Bass and a couple of his men had walked into one of the local establishments, and they sent Deputy, uh, Deputy Sheriff A.W. Grimes in to check and see if he had any guns. And uh, so Deputy Grimes walked in and asked them if they had any guns, and they, all three of them drew their guns, and they shot him dead. He never even had a chance to, to draw his gun. Well, a big gunfight erupted right on the corner of, of what today is Main and May Street, and uh, Sam Bass actually was wounded. Uh, he got away, and they chased him down, and, and a couple of days later they found him hiding out, and he was mortally wounded, and he died a couple of days later. Mary McGraw, do you have a place in Round Rock where you like to go that's kind of a place maybe only locals would know about? Well, I am an outdoor kind of guy, and uh, one of my favorite places, it's actually not a single place, but it's, uh, it's a number of places, is, is really anywhere along Brushy Creek. Uh, Brushy Creek, if you, if you don't know it's here, you don't know what a treasure uh, that, that's, that you're missing, and there's a number of places that you, that you can access it a number of parks. Uh, in fact, the Round Rock that crosses the Brushy Creek uh, is, is one of the more famous around. But uh, also, if you, you can follow it uh, out west, and one of my very favorite places is Harry Man Road. It's a, it's a small little windy road with lots of overhanging trees. Uh, if you ever get a chance to, to stop out that way and, and drive through and see what a neat place it is, that's, that's definitely one of my favorites.